Hey guys, how are you doing out there? It's Simon from BizLearn again. Hi and welcome to another NXCAD Secrets tutorial. Today I'd like to show you two very secret settings nobody knows but will help you improve model stability and your life within NX. But first of all, I'd like to show you how Siemens NX works out of the box and what kind of problems occur when we use it out of the box. And afterwards, I will show you how it's gonna be used with those two specific settings being done so but i start from sketch so i'm gonna delete everything and you can see it's nx11 as because i've recognized those settings are available in nx11 maybe older versions but i haven't checked and i'm gonna use this installation as it comes out of the box so there is no sketch task environment available so i'm gonna use my direct sketch but doesn't really matter I'm gonna extrude this by right click and hold drag to the right. So this is the easiest and fastest way to do that. You can see there is no specific selection rule declared, but anyway, it's working, so why not? And I have to create my cutouts with the profile this time. Select my face as because I, I'd like to start here. Maybe some of you recognize that we have a coordinate system that I'm not really using right now, but Anyway, that's not the case. This is Siemens, how it comes out of the box. So you can see there's always a face pre-highlighted. Well, I don't need to select faces in here, so I don't understand why. Maybe because you could double-click the extrude and, and work on the extrude. If, you, if I double-click it, I could change some values here. Cancel, I'm back in my sketch. But I don't think it's necessary in most of the cases. But anyway, that's how it comes out of the box. This filter is by default set to entire assembly and if you'd set this to within active sketch to avoid these highlighting of faces or avoid the selection of edges. However, this setting would be redone after creating a new sketch. So we have to do it always and on and on and on. But anyway, there's a solution for which I'll show you in a few seconds. But first of all, I'm gonna extrude this one. I'm gonna start my extrude. I'm gonna use reach and boundary curves for that because I've recognized some of you do use reach and boundary curves instead of anything else, so I'm gonna do that. So I need a copy of these elements to this center, so I'm gonna select all of them. This is not a copy and paste tutorial, but anyway, maybe you learned something from it. Maybe you recognize why copy and paste is so difficult for some of you, it's because of this list. If there are lots of things within the list, well, I don't think copy and paste is the problem. I think something else is the problem, but let's have a look. So I'm gonna select this face here and instead of hitting okay, I'm gonna use my show result function and you can see there is nothing happening beside an information, an error target body completely inside tool body. Why? Because of the reach and boundary curve selection rule, it needs a seed object. I selected here on this side and I have to select this face. This is something many, many people do not understand. And direction of extrusion is also selected as well. And now it works as you can see, but still we have a lot of external references here and I'm gonna hit okay and let's have a look at sketch. So this sketch is of course not fully constrained. There are two things missing. In older versions from NX, NX wouldn't have created this sketch because we have reference to edges, which now don't really make sense. The collinear alignment don't make sense. So here it's deleted. In older versions, NX would have caused a phasia alert and we would have to fix it. It is stable, but anyway, it's not satisfying for me. So now it's about to show you the settings. You can find below customer defaults, file, utilities, customer defaults. The first setting is below modeling, general, miscellaneous. You could also use search instead if you don't remember the path, but here is something interesting. It's a gray box. And here you can see I have already set this to feature curves, but I have not restarted my session. The default is try region then feature curves. So every time we extrude something or revolve something, however, 
And X tries to use the region boundary curve selection rule, which causes such problems when copy and pasting things. Or even if you don't copy and paste, but just delete some curves within the sketch and replace them, you will have to remap the curves within the extrude. So set this one to feature curves. It's not default, but it's the best choice you can do. It's nothing wrong because in the case you need region boundary, you can still select it. But feature curves anyway is the best choice because the overall sketch is going to be used and everything is going to maintain stable. I guess you understand what I mean. So what about the second secret? The second secret is below sketch. And this is one of my absolutely favorite settings that nobody knows. It's below sketch general session settings and it's called use with an active sketch only. This is by default set to none. And I'm going to set this, hit OK. I get an information that I have to restart my session. OK. All right, here's my new session with those settings enabled with an active sketch only and prefer feature curves instead of region boundary curves. And I'm going to start my model again. You can see it's infer curves and if you right click your selection, it's feature curves instead. That means if I exchange one of my curve or a set of curves, if I delete everything and replace it by something else, it will be extruded automatically. I'm going to create my profile again, but this time a little bit different. I'm going to use my center point here. And the cool thing is there's no highlighting. There's no highlighting of edges or faces. It's just my internal references. And I'm going to extrude this one as well. And also here, of course, it's feature curves. Right click on the selection feature curves. And if I had exchange my curves, there's even no warning or information. It's replaced. Wonderful. And if I copy and paste this, you can see it's two references being asked for. The extrude is just a target because the extrude is related to the sketch normal. And I just have to select this point and just hit OK. Everything's fine. Those two settings, they don't have bad influence. They just have good influence with an active sketch only and don't use region boundary curves. It's the second setting. It's feature curves. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit longer than normally, but two very, very important things to be discussed. They need a little bit of time. And if you did not understand what my intent was, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more interesting information about Siemens and Next, especially Cat Secrets, subscribe my channel. Bye.